Welcome to Prime Luxury. Who doesn't love bikes, especially the most expensive ones, as they are equally very beautiful with awesome specifications? Most guys are motorbike lovers because of the beauty of it and the power it has in terms of beastly speed. Motorbikes are like toys for big boys. People that own motorbikes, like the one on this list, pamper and pet them a lot that they wouldn't let other people drive or scratch their expensive motorbikes. Motorbikes could be very valuable, and you'll see a lot of them on this list. Let's have a look at the 10 most expensive bikes in the world. world. Before proceeding further, please subscribe to the Prime Luxury and click on the notification icon so you'd get notified when we upload the next video. Number 10. Ducati Testa Stretta NCR Macchia Nera Concept $225,000 Motorcycles are priced for their technical performance, designs, frameworks, and outlook. Another way to manufacture only a certain number of them to make them limited edition. Ducati Makia Nera may not compete with the other big bikes in this list in terms of pure speed, notwithstanding that Makia Nera or Block Spot humorously suggests you could create a charred pavement behind while driving it. But titanium and carbon fiber materials to render it impressively lightweight at 297 pounds, artistic contribution by visionary designer Aldo Druddy, and only a number of them made available, convinced most aficionados the price is justified to ensure the model makes it to their collection. Number 9. Ducati Desmo Sedisi D116RR NCR M16 $232,500 NCR starts with a $72,500 Desmo Sedisi D16RR and reworks it to make it lighter and more powerful. The result? The $232,500 road missile NCR Malona 16. Where does the money go? Carbon fiber everywhere on the M16, check, including load-bearing parts such as the frame, swing arm, and wheels. The fuel tank, fairing, tail and fenders are carbon too. Mechanical parts are either titanium right down to the bolts or avionic grade aluminum. A stock 989cc V4 Ducati motor sends around 175 horsepower to the back wheel, but NCR has tuned the M16 to send 200 plus HP to the tarmac. Current generation MotoGP suspension helps get that power down, and the M16 also uses race style electronics with traction control data recording, and user-selectable maps. Number 8. Ecosi FE TI XX Titanium Series $300,000 Back in 2007, many thought a $300,000 price tag for a big bike was insane, no matter if it sported the mostest in every detail that mattered. How times have changed, and in 10 years, $300,000 easily lost its number one spot, instead going good only for an eighth place in the top 10 most expensive big bikes in the world. The FETI XX is powered by a 2409cc billet aluminum engine transmitting 228 PS of power to the rear wheel. Carbon fiber has been used abundantly on the bike to keep the weight low. The saddle has been handcrafted by posh Italian leather Virtuoso Berluti. Its grade 9 titanium exhaust pipes have a ceramic media shot peened finish on them. Number 7. Dodge Tomahawk V10 Superbike $550,000 If you think the Dodge Tomahawk V10 Superbike suspiciously looks like a four-wheel Dodge squeezed on both sides, you won't be alone. This Tomahawk V10 Superbike is a strange beast indeed. And not just because it uses a V10 four-stroke Dodge Viper engine that can easily power up any chassis with more than two wheels attached to it to give you the feeling of being dragged by a fleet of 500 supercharged ponies looking forward to storm the Bastille. Now talk about the soul of two-wheel steeds. As introduced in 2003, the one-of-a-kind Tomahawk was operational and road-ready, but not fully road-tested. At the minimum, this Tomahawk is capable of reaching 60 miles per hour or 96.5 kilometers per hour in about 2.5 seconds with a theoretical top speed of 400 miles per hour. In practice, it's hard to imagine anyone willing to prove it. Evil Knievel probably, but he's long retired at the time of the Tomahawk's release and now he's dead. Would you, however? Number 6. 
Harley-Davidson Cosmic Starship, $1.5 million. What used to occupy first place in many top 10 lists of most expensive big bikes is now only good for a sixth position. However, it claims to have been sold at $3.5 million and is now up for sale. Harley-Davidson appears to think so, and in their Cosmic Starship, they partnered with the famed rebel cosmic existentialist artist Jack Armstrong to apply yellow and red paint over a Harley V-Rod and originally sold it at a flat $1 million after much fanfare broadcast all over the world. Number 5. BMS Nemesis $3 million the first thing you would notice about the BMS Nemesis is the yellow glitter and absence of side stand, making it look like it's lying flat on its underbelly like a marooned whale. Would it even run, you ask yourself? In fact, it would. Fully functional, it incorporates an air ride system that along with a single-sided swing arm rear suspension can lift the motorcycle 10 inches or lower it right onto the ground. This renders a side stand unnecessary, as Nemesis softly lands on its frame rails when it's time to park. As for the yellow glitter, that's the 24 karat gold for you. This easily explains the $3 million price tag, and everyone sure would understand if you wouldn't want to let it out of your house from the day of purchase. Number 4. Hildebrand and Wolfmuller $3.5 million History is expensive. And at $3.5 million, your purchase would send you back 124 years ago to 1894 when this first production motorcycle appeared on the scene. Heinrich and Wilhelm Hildebrand were steam engine engineers before they teamed up with Alois Wolfmuller to produce their internal combustion Motorrad in Munich in 1894. This momentous event started sending the flesh and blood steeds out of fashion reinventing themselves as emblem of the refined gentry, while the special breed of men simply moved on and transferred their affections to the two-wheeled metallic patrol guzzing steeds that took over the roads. Number 3. Ecosi ES1 Spirit $3.6 million When a bike manufacturer requires even a professional driver to first take a two-week training before trying to ride one of its models, you just know something is up with this bike. And why not, indeed? This is not two-wheel machine as traditionally defined. First, there is no chassis framework to speak of. Swing arm and rear suspension attached to the gearbox and front suspension to the engine. The much-touted 265-pound spec of a weight comes from eliminating the extra pounds associated with transmitting front-wheel forces up a slender fork through a steering head, then back down the rest of the machine. The front suspension consists of twin A-arms, projecting forward, their apices defining a steer axis and carrying an upright form which projects the front wheel spindle. Number 2. 1949 E90 AJS Porcupine $7 million A bike manufacturer with a rich history and winning racetrack heritage marred by several financial turbulence. Early on, AJS could only manage to produce four porcupine units in 1949. As it turned out, one of these under the very able hands of Les Graham won the 1949 World Championship. An open frame aluminum alloy 500cc DOHC twin engine with horizontal cylinders and heads give the porcupine a low center of gravity. It uses what's called jam pot shocks and telehydraulic race force. Number 1. Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter $11 million Whoever saw it coming that Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter would later ch claim pole position at any top 10 list of big bikes is probably a seer of the highest order, especially when one considers how it began the market as a humble $110,000. And mind you, Neiman Marcus is a name you would rightly connect with a department store rather than a superbike. The unique clockwork design, however, seems to have taken care of all that. The bike's eye-catching chassis, carved from a single piece of metal, proved to be an extreme hit with enthusiasts. As it turned out, even Apple just used the same approach for its new laptop case at the time. Many design experts agreed, this is styling at its best, where the utility of the vehicle is styled rather than hidden from sight. How limited? As it stands, only 45 of this fighter is ever released in the market. Which one of them? 
do you love the most? Thanks for watching.